I'm Diana Gishengo, a program advisor at Kenya Human Rights Commission in the Political Pluralism and Diversity Program. I work on equality in trying to ensure that all special interest groups in Kenya are able to participate in political governance. Currently, the biggest problem we face is that of women participation, participation of persons with disability, ethnic minorities. Yes, we also have a general pro problem of inclusion of all ethnic groups. So at one point you'll have one ethnic group or ethnic block in government and another completely out. But the 2010 Constitution of Kenya made special clauses and recognition of gender inequalities in appointive and elective positions. This was properly entrenched in the Bill of Rights, in the principles of electoral governance, so that there's a requirement that not more than two that of any appointive or elective position should be of the same gender. We went for the 2013 election and what we realized was in spite of these provisions, still women performed very poorly. Research has shown that the number of women who vied compared to the number of men who vied was, there was a big difference in percentage, maybe one for every 10. However, in the total number of women who vied, compared to the total number of men who vied, you realize out of the women who vied, about 700 of them or thereabout, 12% were elected into positions. Similarly, a very big number of men vied, but only 13% were elected. So there, there is a hypothesis that we could pass if women, if more women vie, more women will be elected. In this regard, after the 2013 general election, in the county government, Kenya is proud that we were able to comply with the not more than two that gender principle. Why? Because after doing our election, we only managed to elect about 70 something women members to the county assemblies. This again is the total number of 1,450. This is just 5%. But because the constitution allowed for us to nominate, then we were able to comply. In the National Assembly and in the Senate, we were not able to comply. Yet, in the Senate and in the National Assembly, we already had special affirmative action of special seats for women to be elected. And in the Senate, special seats for women to be nominated. The women who are nominated, however, have informed us that they face serious challenges of legitimacy having a voice of people who they represent, being recognized, and they never, most of them, say for those in the Senate, had never engaged in the electoral process. So there's very little experience they have in the campaign process when it comes to the next election. So we are saying, let there be affirmative action, but let all women, men, persons with disability, go through the electoral process, not of nomination, but of elections.